Apex Legends Twitter has been a raging fire about the current rank system for the past few weeks. Hot take after hot take has been coming in from pros and casuals alike on the current state of Apex rank and what needs to be done for the system. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the mostess, 8 Second Gaming, and in today's video I'm going to be breaking down exactly what's going on with Reddit and Twitter about these ranks and give you everything you need to know to be up to date with this. But no matter what anyone else thinks about the rank system, your own personal goals matter the most. So if you're looking to climb to new highs in Apex, you need to check out the Game Leap website right now. Over there, we have top level coaches creating guide content that you won't find anywhere else. We go highly in depth about the legends, weapons, psychology, and much more all to make you the best Apex player that you can be. So if you want to rank up in Apex, click the link in the description, get yourself a membership, or I'll hide all of your bath toys. No more fun in the bubbles for you. But now let's jump back into the topic at hand, and I do want to start off by saying I am sick currently, so if I sound different, I do apologize, it's just a cold, it will be over soon. And I'm going to be starting off this video by laying the groundwork for this. So when someone asks you what the average rank is in Apex, what do people typically say? Well, for the most part, people usually think it's gold, but that hasn't been the case for a few seasons now. The average rank in Apex is Platinum, with Plat 4 having the highest amount of players in it. But coming up to the end of the first split in Season 12, Diamond 4 has the highest amount of players in it. And that isn't even mentioning the amount of players who have hit Masters this season. If we take a look all the way back to Season 4 when Masters was first introduced, only 0.2% of the player base hit Masters and Predator. Then time traveling to Season 8, it was 0.4%. And currently in Season 12, over 5% of the population is in Masters, not including Predator. At the time of writing the script, there are over 120,000 Masters and Preds on PC, 108,000 on PlayStation, 30,000 on Xbox, and just under 6,000 on Switch. So more and more players are slowly creeping their way into the top ranks of the game, making the badges mean less and less to a lot of players. This has sparked a ton of conversations on Twitter talking about if this season is akin to a participation trophy with how easy it is. Certain tweets have come out from players like Daltouche saying, Something's gotta be done about ranked, man. Absolute clown fiesta of rabid 10k hardstucks just running at everything all day. There's my Apex tweet for the month, worst rank split so far. Or this tweet saying, By the way, Masters on Apex this season is not a flex. There are over 200,000 Masters between all platforms. Even one coming in from His Watson, a former rank 1 Predator player showing off someone else's stats where they have a 0.55 KD ratio, and they are a Masters player. Someone was able to have a negative KD ratio and still make it to one of the highest ranks in the game. But the tweets don't stop there. Slim Haley joined in on the party showing off their rank stats having a total of 3 kills and a 0.07 KD ratio, and they were able to reach Masters. It took Slim Haley 75 games total and they won 37 of those in order to get Masters. Now they did play Crypto so they were able to help damage people and Crypto's drones gets assists. But this seems to be clear evidence that there is some flaws in the current rank system. Now these pictures did spark a lot of debates in Slim Haley's comments. Even people trying to say it didn't mean anything. This tweet from Brian saying you didn't get 37 wins solo in 75 games homie this post doesn't mean anything. And then there's the whole side of Twitter where people are saying that this is still a huge accomplishment for people hitting Masters. Like this one where Affliction says, Be proud of making it to Masters this season on Apex Legends, it's still not easy. Or one from eGirl Sarah saying, I'm so tired of a lot of Apex players belittling or insulting people saying it's easy to get Masters this season. Can we just be happy for their achievements without being assholes? Thanks. These two conflicting sides have essentially split Twitter in half. One side saying if everyone gets the reward then they don't mean anything, and the other side saying it's still a proud accomplishment for them. So what can really be done to fix this? Well, there have been some obvious things put forward like rank demotion. This means if you lose a certain amount of points at the bottom of a rank, you will fall out of it. So if a player sits in Platinum 4, loses a bunch of points, they can then fall back into Gold 1. This has been a thing for arenas for Apex, and even the mobile version of the game has deranking, so players are just assuming that it will be coming in the next season of BR, or at least fairly soon. There have also been a decent amount of people saying that players will purposely demote into ranks to farm easier lobbies. 
But a counter argument to that is it would take a lot of time and effort. It would be a decent amount of points to actually fall that far down in the ranks. And those types of people are the ones who make smurfs. It would just be the same issue because smurfs are easier to make. But the next possible fix would be Ranked Decay. This is where if you don't play Ranked and just let your account sit over time, you will lose points. So players can't sit in the bottom of a rank, they need to play every now and then to make sure that they still hold their wanted rank. This would fix a lot of stagnant accounts in the bottoms of certain ranks. A lot of games do have Ranked Decay, most notably League of Legends has it. And from what I've seen on that, it does have its benefits. But one that's more of a short term fix is a full rank reset. Currently in Apex, when a new split or season happens, you go down two ranks to reset your climb and give players something to work towards. Masters and Predator go down to Platinum, Diamond players go down to Gold, Platinum players go into Silver, you, you get the point. But since Ranked has come out, there hasn't been a full rank reset where they make everyone go to Bronze and have to fully climb again. When Ranked first came out in Season 2, everyone started at Bronze and they had to do the full rank climb. That's why Sentinels was the first Apex Predators. This debate was a conversation that I saw on Twitter a while ago and I do apologize I was not able to track down a tweet from this, but it basically suggested that a full rank reset would balance out the ranks a bit more due to players having to grind all the way back up again. Now, there are ups and downs to all of these suggestions and there are always ideas being tossed around on Reddit, Twitter, and Discord servers. But what really gives people, including myself, hope is a Twitter thread started by a pro player named Tech. Basically, this thread is Tech showing the rank distributions for multiple other games and how theirs follow more of a standard outline of what you would expect from a game. Then he showed Apex's in comparison. He then tagged Sweet Dreams, prompting him to start another save Apex rank trend. But that's where the senior producer at Respawn, Josh Medina, stepped in saying, we better get a hashtag come season 13 that says thanks Respawn for saving Apex ranked. Leading a lot of players to think that they have a bunch of rank changes coming in the new season. It even has been hinted at that certain high level players such as Asu and Imperial Hal have been brought in and worked with the devs to bring solid changes to the rank system to really help balance it out. I even wouldn't be surprised if they brought in somebody like PvPX who is notorious on Twitter for sharing suggestions on how to fix the game. Some of them have been well received by the community and some of them haven't, so I am excited to see if he actually did end up going and helping them. But this is where I pass it off to you, the community. Where do you guys fall in this whole debate? Do you think if too many people hit a rank that it starts to lose meaning or is hitting these still a huge goal and accomplishment for you? Let me know down in the comments and see what everybody else thinks as well. Or additionally, you could swing by one of my own streams over on Twitch TV slash 8 Second Gaming and talk about some of the changes over there. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned some new things about Apex's rank system. If you did and you want to stay up to date with the latest and greatest Apex Legends tips, tricks, and news, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching. Once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I will see you in the next one.